For years, embedding models have lived in the cloud, powering search, retrieval, and enterprise rag pipelines. But what if you could shrink that power into your phone? Google just pulled that off. Its latest model, embedding Gemma, not only runs on everyday devices, it just climbed to the top of the global embedding leaderboard for small models. Embedding Gemma is open source, compact at 308 million parameters and trained across 100 plus languages. It's actually the newest member of the Gemma family, designed to complement Google's lightweight Gemma 3N. But don't let that size fool you, not for a minute. It actually carries some very heavy weight capabilities. Multilingual embeddings tuned for retrieval, clustering and classification. Customizable output dimensions from a full 768 vector down to 128 via Matryoshka representation. Learning, letting developers trade, precision for speed on the fly. Sub 200 MB RAM footprint with quantization making it realistic for laptops and even phones. And the headlines are like this. It now actually sits at the number one slot on the massive text embedding benchmark, MTEB, multilingual V2 for models under 500 million parameters. Until now, most RAG pipelines ran on server GPUs or cloud VMs. That meant embedding sensitive corporate or personal data outside the device. Embedding Gemma breaks that wall. Private by design, embedding are embeddings are actually generated locally, keeping data on device. Efficiency, well, here it is. Less than 15 milliseconds inference on a 256 token inputs with edge TPU. Flexible. Well, same tokenizer as Gemma 3N, seamless plug into open source stacks. This means a phone or laptop can now actually run on semantic search over personal files, power offline chatbots or serve as a rag ready edge node. Out of the gate, embedding Gemma already integrates with Llama.cpp, Olama, L MLX, LM Studio, LightRT, Langchain, Llama Index, Via V8, Cloudfare, and Transformers.js. For developers, this is plug and play into existing pipelines, no heavyweight retooling. It's also designed to interpolate with Google's Gemma 3N, handling off retrieval to generation natively. Google isn't alone. Cohere Embed, Mistral's Codestral Embed, OpenAI's Text Embedding 3 Large and Codo Embed are all in the race. But most are cloud leaning. By contrast, Embedding Gemma makes a strategic bet. Mobile RAG in a world where Apple, Samsung and Qualcomm are pushing device native AI Google wants Gemma to be the go-to model, family for on-device intelligence. Embedding models aren't flashy chatbots, but they are the connective tissue of enterprise AI, determining what context gets retrieved and therefore how accurate the final answer is. Poor embeddings, which is going to be equaling to irrelevant documents, which equals to hallucinated outputs. Embedding Gemma raises the floor for this retrieval step, making offline accurate multilingual AI possible on consumer grade hardware. Think of it this way. If LLMs are the storytellers, embeddings are the librarians. And Google just gave the librarian a smartphone. By topping MTEB for its class, it's actually proof that the future of AI won't only be cloud scale, it will be pocket scale. So the next time 
you search your notes, emails or files offline and get a contextually perfect result, it might just be powered by this tiny but mighty Gemma. And just when you think Google is slowing down, well, think again. After August's avalanche, which is Pixel 10 AI tricks, Jenny 3 world models, $9 billion investment into cloud infrastructure, Notebook LM in 80 languages, Gemini in schools, they are shipping like genuinely there's no tomorrow. And honestly, Google has gone a little cuckoo with launches, including Opal AI.